Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be looking at equations of circles. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button to be up to date on all the videos that we have coming out from the channel. So let's get started. So here we have this equation, x minus 4 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 20. And so we're asked to find the radius and the center. Now, the normal center for a circle is at the origin, is at 0, 0. But because of this minus 4, it gets moved over 4 spaces to the right. So the center is at 4 for the x, and the plus 3 moves it down 3. So it's at 4, negative 3. And the radius is actually the square root of this number. It's square root of 20. Now we can't take the square root of 20, but we can take the square root of 4. So we can simplify this to 2 square root of 5. And so that's our center, and that's our radius. Now looking at this second equation, notice that we have it equal to 1, but it's being divided by 25. And so because we're being divided by 25, the first thing we need to do is we need to get that 25 over onto the other side. So if we multiply 25 by everything, we get x squared plus what quantity y minus 12 squared equals 25. Now we'll, I'll link to a video that we're getting out from the channel later on that talks about ellipses, but this is the form of a circle, but you'll see that we use this more when we talk about ellipses and other conic sections. So for now, we just use this equation. So for the center, notice that x, we're not adding or subtracting. So the x value is still 0. It's not moved. Now the y, because it's minus 12, it gets moved up 12. So the center is at 0, 12. And the radius is the square root of 25, which is 5. Now for number 3, Notice that it's not in squared form, like it is up here in number 1. So with number 3, we've got a little bit of work to do to get it into that form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything with x together. So x squared plus 14x, and I'm going to leave a little space. Then I'm going to put the y's together, plus y squared minus 12y. I'm going to leave a little space. And then we'll set that equal to this number. I'm going to move 4 over, so it's minus 4. Now we're going to do something called completing the square. That is, we want to take this expression so that we can write it in this form. So to do that, what we do is we take 14, this number right here, we divide by 2, and square it. So 14 divided by 2 is 7, squared is 49. Now if I add it to one side, I have to add it to the other side. Now I'm going to complete the square over here by taking this number, negative 12 divided by 2, and squaring that. So that's negative 6 squared, so that's plus 36. Now what I can do now is I can look at this in blue and say, well, I can factor this. And so this factors into x plus 7 plus 7 or more simply, x plus 7 quantity squared, which is what we're going after. We want it to be in that squared form. So in red, I can write this as y minus 6 times y minus 6, or y minus 6 quantity squared. And then over here, I take 49 plus 36, and then I subtract away and I get a value of 81. So now, now that I've written this in a form we're familiar with, now we can write the center of our circle. And normally it's at 0, but the plus 7 moves it to the left, 7 spaces, and the minus 6 moves it down 6 spaces. So our center is at negative 7, negative 6. And our radius is at the square root of 81, which is 9. Now on to the flip side. Now we're given some different information. 
Now we're given that the diameter has endpoints at negative 17, 9, negative 9, and negative 11, negative 17. We're not even given an equation now. Now how do we do this? Well, the center is going to be in between. Because if you think about it, what is a diameter? The diameter of a circle is a line segment running through the circle, but it passes through the center. And the center has to be at the midpoint. So for our center, that's going to be at the average of these two, negative 17 minus 11 over 2, comma, negative 9 minus 17 over 2. So it's just the average of the x values and the average of the y values. So negative 17 and negative 11, that gives us negative 28. So divide by 2, we get negative 14. Negative 9 minus 17 is negative 26. And we divide that by 2, and we get negative 13. So there is our center. Now one thing we can do is, with just this information, we can write this much of our equation. We get x plus 14 squared plus y plus 13 squared equals, but we don't know the radius, so we have to leave that as r squared. But how do we figure that out? Because we need to to write our equation. Well, what we can do is we can substitute one of these points in for x and y. So I'll just pick this, and I'll substitute negative 17 for x and negative 9 in for y. So negative 17 plus 14 squared plus negative 9 plus 13 squared equals r squared. So negative 17 plus 14 gives us negative 3 squared. Negative 9 plus 13 gives me 4 squared equals r squared. So that's 9 plus 16 equals r squared, so 25 equals r squared. Now interestingly enough, we don't actually need to know the radius, but we can easily take the square root and see that it's 5. What we care about is the equation. So from up here, all we have to do is replace r squared with what we found it to equal, 25. So that's x plus 14 squared plus y plus 13 squared equals 25. And there we go. There's our equation. Now number, number 5 is very similar to number 14, except it's a little bit easier, because some of the work has been done for us. We already know where the center is, at 2 comma 5. So we can write this as x minus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 5 quantity squared equals r squared. And we can use this point for x and for y. So I can substitute negative 7 in for x, and I can substitute 1 in for y. And so by doing this, I get negative 9 quantity squared plus negative 4 quantity squared equals r squared. So this means we have 81 plus 16 equals r squared. And so that leaves us with a value of 97 for r squared. Now, the radius is squared of 97, but we actually don't need that. All we need is the equation. So like number 4, we just have to replace r squared with 96. So our equation is going to be x minus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 5 squared equals 97. And there's our equation. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.